Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Master Paul, and I'm happy to be connecting with you today, making some final adjustments here to the camera and the positioning and all that. <clears throat> so thank you for joining. Turning on the light also, it was a little dark there. Now I am back, so thank you for joining. Today is Monday and it is a new week in this month. And I didn't pay attention to the date. I think it's the 12th of December. Somebody this morning said only 12 days till Christmas. Of course they lived in New Zealand and they were off by one day. So I think that's an accurate date. So today is the first of 10 days of the 10 Das. For all of those tuning in for the very first time, wondering if this is worthy of your time? Well, only if you have a desire to improve the qualities of your life, stop suffering, uh, be happier. Yeah, you might want to stick around. In these 10 days, I will be covering one of the greatest qualities each and every day. And today is Da I, the greatest love. The additional qualities include Da Quan Shu, the greatest forgiveness. Da Tzu Bei, the greatest compassion. And then in the fourth day this week, I will be covering Da Guang Ming, the greatest light. We'll go into the following week. I'll be covering the fifth of the greatest qualities or virtues, the greatest things that we can bring into our life. And it will be Da Chen Bei, which is the greatest humility. And then on the following day, I will cover Da He She, the greatest harmony. One that is very popular with many folks, Da, uh, da Chang Sheng, which is the greatest flourishing. All about financial flourishing, relationship flourishing, everything. And then following that, I will do the eighth of the ten Das, Da Gan An, the greatest gratitude. The final two are very important. Da Fu Wu, the greatest service. And the last one, which all of the previous nine virtues lead to, is Da Yuan Man, which means the greatest enlightenment. So this is what you can look forward to. And today is the beginning of that. I'll be teaching and sharing the wisdom from Master Shah's books, including the newest one that just came out. And uh, I'll be referring to the last two books, actually, from wisdom from them to help us to enact it in our lives to bring about greater harmony, greater love, greater health, and all things great. So let's check in with who's tuned in so far. <clears throat> Aloha and welcome Richie. Aloha and welcome to Janice Crosby. And welcome Kristen Rojas. Welcome Dylan Bo. Dylan Basu. And Aloha Joyce. Merry Christmas to Joyce and her beloved dogs. Welcome to Josie Dakila. Welcome also Kristen Strachan. And welcome and Aloha Vanessa. Aloha Michelle. Welcome, Atena. Welcome also to Carol uh, Federico. And aloha to Jim. Welcome also to Becky Lafave. And aloha, Pat JD. Welcome, Nelson. And welcome, Trout Hudson. Aloha, Kathy Arnold. Aloha, Anjali. And welcome, Sima AJ. Aloha also to Barbara Moore. And Criselda Guerrero. Aloha, Lisa Zarniak. Welcome, Johnny. Welcome also to Larissa. <clears throat> and welcome Linda Martinez and welcome also to Mike LeBanc and Jasmine uh, Hoggins thank you all for coming and tuning in today for this live stream I hope you can stick around the whole time if you're unable to then and you're enjoying this of course then make sure that you uh, that you like my page and then also hit subscribe and that way you'll be notified when I do go live, which is typically Monday through Thursday, the same time. So thanks for coming. So as always, uh, what we, what I do is I follow guidance. And when I started creating these live streams, guidance was to always connect heart to heart and soul to soul with everybody, because we all collectively have actually, <laughs> believe it or not, we all have a collective uh, karma. In this case, probably a good one. But, uh, you know, why do people in, in uh, airplanes, you know, when the airplane goes down, 
everybody dies except for example one person karma why do we all come and join today there's always a value in it we can help clear each other's blockages <clears throat> so let us start by placing our hands in soul light soul service hand position which is a hand mudra position we'll drop the left hand in front of the heart center the right hand still remains pointed up towards heaven and we're going to close your eyes and I'm going to invite in the beings of light and ask them to serve us today so dear all layers of the divine dial on the source our beloved creator <clears throat> all those serving the plan of the light side including the angels and the healing angels arch uh, archangels masters ascendant masters buddhas and bodhisattvas lamas gurus sifus and saints beloved jesus beloved mother mary beloved namo amitofu beloved uh, da shirjur pusa and kuan yin we love you all honor you all deeply respect you and invite you to please be present with us today we also invite our beloved individual heavens teams guides angels and saints we thank you for your unconditional service to our soul and our soul journey we could not do this without you and we're truly appreciative of your consistent service to us we ask you to please be present as well we invite the source soul song of love peace and harmony to please be with us at this time and we ask all souls in all universe to join with us to turn on the source soul song of love peace harmony and to chant at the same time to offer their unconditional service thank you thank you thank you so again for those tuning in new this is a mantra as a healing mantra you're welcome to join along <clears throat> you can simply make a request and receive the blessing so uh, everyone is welcome to join as they'd like lu la lu la li lu la lu la la li lu la la lu la li lu la lu la ha li lu la lu la li lu la wo ai wo xin er ling wo ai tran ren le wang di rong er mu shi shang Shang I ping on a she, Shang I ping on a she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace. And harmony, love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how! Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, for those again that are new that would like to know more about that song, uh, Kristen Rojas has been uh, awesome. She's my support person while I'm on the Facebook live streams and. She usually posts things in her chat box. Keep an eye on that. Uh, she posts, for example, the words for this song as well as the links if you'd like to download it complimentary. So thank you, Kristen, for your support. Welcome, Shelley. Welcome also to <coughs> Julia Abbott. Uh, welcome, Anthea. Uh, welcome, Diane Victoria. Uh, welcome also to Carol Whitney and Terdizzle. And if I've missed anybody, please forgive me. Thank you. Welcome. So I'm nurturing a allergic reaction that I had this morning when I mixed inappropriate foods last night along with one beer. That's what happens sometimes when you're not careful with your body. And so I'm dealing with that today. So uh, if you see me wiping my nose, it's not a cold. It's an allergic reaction. So anyway, uh, today is day one of the 10 days of the 10 Da's. Now I have done this one time before about uh, eight months ago and some of you may remember some of you may not but it doesn't really matter uh, one of the reasons why I'm doing this is because <clears throat> at the time when this was released Master Shah uh, my teacher who who brought this wisdom to humanity he said it was very very important so important he actually put it in his book called soul over matter which I highly recommend for all of those that have some financial blockages in their world get this book soul over matter 
It's co-written with a financial guru uh, who is in the, the mind over matter field. And Master Shah brought the additional wisdom of soul over matter to the table. <clears throat> and combined, they bring some very uh, high-level esoteric wisdom that can be applied. But this is also where the uh, seven of the ten Da's were or originally released. And so I'll be uh, working with some of that information today as well and assisting each of us to get a little further knowledge with that. But more important is the actual practical application of it. Uh, anybody, um, including myself, I'm certainly not above uh, anybody, um, I'm constantly working on improving uh, the areas that are available here in the Ten Da. They again include the greatest love, greatest forgiveness, greatest compassion, greatest light, greatest humility. That's ego, right? Constantly I have to break down the wall, ego walls. <clears throat> greatest harmony. How often do we do or say things that bring disharmony? Um, greatest flourishing. What are we doing to inhibit our flourishing in our life? The greatest gratitude. I, I'm definitely not near grateful enough, and I'm guessing that there's some room for improvement on your world too. And so as I mention these, do some of these resonate with you? Is there a lack of compassion? I know this is a weakness for me. Um, greatest service, and then greatest enlightenment. So each of these 10 Da's carry with them certainly uh, no shortage of wisdom, and I'll be working with those over the next 10 days. But more importantly is practice. And so what I mean by that, practice, what I mean is, <clears throat> I'm going I'm to give you a small preface to this. When I first started with my teacher, Master Shah, he would sing a lot, and, and he didn't have a very good singing voice at that time. And I was like, why, why does this man sing a lot? Well, he sings because he was asked to. Uh, the divine said, you know, the, the world will be healed through uh, through mantra, through song, through dance, through love. So he started to sing, and uh, now his his uh, you know his voice is, is amazing. But um, the point is, <clears throat> after I trained in in this modality for a while, for the purpose of assisting humanity, awakening humanity, helping him through difficult times, etc. I asked one of the teachers who was training me, who had been following. Uh, this teacher's wisdom for about 10 or so years and she she of her own accord was a was an amazing qigong teacher and had uh, reversed herself from debilitating handicapped condition using qigong methods and so she had been training underneath master shah's methods for a while and i said master patricia i said what do we do if if the world takes a dump you know what do we do if, uh, if there's a huge stock market crash or or or, or uh, an asteroid hits the planet or blah 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 whatever right what do we do if we happen to be lucky enough to survive with all this wisdom that we have and she said um, I says I don't know what to do first you know how do I help people <clears throat> this is about five years ago and she said well it's very simple you teach them song and dance and I thought about it, I'm like, wow, that actually is that simple. Um, and I, I went into that answer, and when you stop and think about it, if the mind tries to analyze it, the mind will just say, uh, pff, whatever, and just like one or out the other. But why would song and dance, specifically high quality, high frequency mantra, change the world what would it have anything to do to help people that are in significant crisis well that's exactly the point when we are in significant crisis doesn't matter what it is it could be our personal crisis it could be a financial crisis it could be a relationship crisis no matter what crisis it is it could be a world calamity <clears throat> the one thing that works every time is love and every one of these ten da mantras carry these extraordinarily high frequencies so when people chant which you know way before uh, uh my teacher came out with these mantras you know five thousand ten thousand recorded history all the way back to the beginning of time anything that's recorded you see the um uh the history of people chanting especially to remain happy 
So why not apply it when it's most needed? So that's why over these 10 days we will do a lot of practice specific to the chanting of the mantras for each one of these 10 da. Now, uh, <clears throat> each of the 10 da's have a phrase. If you have the Soul Over Matter book, you will see on page 89 the beginning of the wisdom of the first da, which is called Da I. So I'm going to read this to you so that you know <clears throat> what Da I is. Some of you already know, some of you are already making comments, some of you are new and you would like to understand more. The wisdom of Da I. This is on page 87 of the Soul Over Matter book. Uh, da means greatest. I, A I, means love. Da I means the greatest love. Love melts all blockages and transforms all life. Every human being needs love. When we feel love from your partners, when we feel love from your colleagues, when you feel love from the children, when you feel love from your spiritual fathers or mothers, you feel transformed, you feel touched and moved. Da I is the number one principle to transform every aspect of your life, even including finance and business. If everyone is in a company could apply love towards each other, imagine the transformation of that company. And so Da I focuses on love. So there are some phrases. Now these phrases, uh, I'm going to ask Kristen to post them for you here. And I will chant them for you first so you can hear them. <clears throat> They're in... Uh, when Master Shah receives these phrases, he does everything in flow, and he received this wisdom, uh, and he received it in Mandarin Chinese, and he translated it to, to English. And when I say received, I don't mean sat down with his mind and said, what word am I going to use next? No, I mean received. So the words that he received was, Yi shi da ai, wu tiao jian ai, rong, and so Kristen just posted the words. Now they translate to the first of the ten da qualities is greatest love. The first of the ten da qualities is the greatest love. Wu Tiao Jin I. This translates to give unconditional love to others. Give unconditional love to others. The third line, Rong Hua Zai Nang. Remove all kinds of disasters and challenges. Remove all kinds of disasters and challenges. And the fourth line is, Xin Qing Shen Ming. You'll see the words here in a minute. So you can start looking where Kristen posted. You will see the words that I'm chanting. And the fourth line means the heart is clear and transparent and the soul is enlightened. So now I'm going to just read the English part so you hear it a few times so you grasp the value. <clears throat> because it's not just a song. If it was just a song, we would all be chanting Metallica. Or we'd all be chanting, you know, some some rock band or whatever it might be. It it's, has to be quite a bit more potent than just a song. It has to carry a message. And Master Shah's wisdom, everything has a soul. The words have a soul. A phrase has a soul. Uh, everything has a soul and everything is serving you. And so mantra when sung over and over, carry a very high frequency. You open the Bible. There are plenty of, of mantra that people chant over and over. Open the Quran. People chant mantra over and over. Open any Buddhist scriptures. People chant the Lotus Sutra over and over. And so <clears throat> mantra has been used for ages to, to be a carrier of frequencies, a carrier of divine love. So these ten da mantras are a carrier of extraordinary high frequencies. So here's what they mean in this in order. The first of the ten da's is da i, the greatest love. Give unconditional love to others. Remove all kinds 
of disasters and challenges, heart is clear and transparent, soul is enlightened. Again, the first of the ten da qualities is the greatest love. Give unconditional love to others. Give unconditional love to others. That's something most of us don't do. Remove all kinds of disasters and challenges. That is a natural side effect. Do you understand that? Heart is clear and transparent, and the soul is enlightened. One more time. The first of ten da qualities is to give the greatest love. Give unconditional love to others. Remove all kinds of disasters and challenges. Heart is clear and transparent. Soul is enlightened. <laughs> now imagine you were sitting there. And you receive those words in, in English or your native language. You're just sitting there meditating and heaven says, the first of the qualities of life is the greatest love. And then you're listening and you're going, heaven, are you talking to me? And they say, give unconditional love to others. It will remove all kinds of disasters and blockages in your life. Your heart will become clear and transparent and your soul will become enlightened. Oh, I like that message. I think I'll write it down. This is the caliber of wisdom that heaven is revealing through Master Shah. He's bringing it to us so that we carry this frequency into our life to transform the blockages in our life. Now, every single one of us watching, without, without exception, have life challenges. How do I know that? Because you're still here on earth. If you didn't have life challenges, you'd be hanging out in heaven with Buddha or Jesus. So you have challenges. How do we clear the challenges? <clears throat> Give unconditional love to others. That is the message. When I ask Master Patricia, Master Patricia, if, if the world takes a dump, how do we help people? Everybody's going to be freaking out. She said, do song and dance. Give unconditional love to others. The frequency changes people's blockages. It melts the blockages. It causes the apprehension, the fear, whatever an individual is going through to come into balance. It causes their heart, which is the last line on this, heart is clear and transparent, soul is enlightened. It causes their heart to release the heaviness that it carries. <laughs> Can it be that simple? The monkey mind says, how can it be so simple? You sing and you're, and, and you're all fixed? Well, not necessarily, but definitely it will lighten the load. Definitely it will melt some blockages, and that's a heck of a lot better than melting no blockages. Wouldn't you agree? So the wisdom is to chant, to chant, to chant, but specifically to chant the mantras that elevate our soul's standing, elevate our heart's awareness and awakening. Yesterday, I watched a Master Peter, one of Master Shah's, uh, his, his single longest student, been with him about 20 years, his first enlightened student, and uh, he was teaching about Guan Yin, behind me here, and he was talking about um, Master Shah's teacher. His name is Master Guo. This was in China when they went to visit. <clears throat> and he asked Master Guo, keep in mind this was about 12 years ago when Master, uh, maybe 15 years ago when Master uh, Peter went over there, so the level of knowledge he had at that time was was just minuscule compared to now. And Master Peter had studied lots of qigongs and lots of everything, and he'd picked up every book he could, and he just devoured these things, right? So he asked Master Guo, Master Shah's spiritual father, he said, Master Guo, what is the secret of the highest and best qigong? Qigong means... Uh, energy practice okay so it's not just a cute little movement eight moves or 64 moves or whatever qigong means energy practice master guo what is the secret to the highest qigong master guo's answer did not sink into his head until later on he said the master gave me the highest possible answer and he gave me the golden mountain all I did was I sat at the foot of the golden mountain, hit it with the hammer going, think, 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 I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. He gave him the answer. What answer did he give him? Right here. Line number four. 
heart is clear and transparent soul is enlightened what master Guo told him now I'm paraphrasing he said clear your heart clear your heart and everything everything will resolve you will reach enlightenment this is the highest qigong the highest energy practice <laughs> and he didn't understand it at that time now he understands it what does that mean clear our heart that means remove all hatred remove all greed remove the need for selfishness self self uh, defense and protectionism ego remove the the disharmony that we may cause by our thoughts words or actions it means move outside of ourselves and be love be love in our thoughts be love in our words and be love in our actions so now that you have an understanding of these ten da the first of the ten da da i with master shah's spoken wisdom we are going to chant these words for those that are interested to know a little bit more about master guo uh, i saw that kristen posted a link to the video called Soul Masters, which is an excellent 90 minute uh, documentary that follows Master Shah and Master Guo in China. And you get to see some of the history of how Master Shah uh, uh, received the wisdom he now shares. Okay. So, again, um, Look on Kristen's time on Kristen's post. She has posted that the mantra we're going to be chanting, <clears throat> and we're going to chant it, both the English version and the uh, Mandarin Chinese. It'll be a little bit broken uh, in terms of switching over to the English, but have fun, open heart. Okay. First, let us connect to the mantra, and let us release heart blockages. Place our hands in so light service hand position and connect please repeat after me if it's comfortable dear the soul of the mantra da i i love you honor you and appreciate you as i chant the mandarin chinese and english could you please bless me to release blockages in my life and in my heart could you please bless me to be a more unconditional loving person i ask forgiveness for this in all lifetimes if i or my ancestors have harmed any souls in time by wrong thoughts or words or actions I know that to simply ask for forgiveness is not enough, that I must serve, that I must assist in helping others to be happier and healthier. But I will continue to do so and to ask that you release me of any of the spiritual debt that I might owe you. I invite all souls to chant with us. How, how, how. Okay, so again, I will chant the mantra with you, the, the Mandarin Chinese, a couple of times, and then we will chant the English. All right, <clears throat> you may also just choose to close your eyes and receive. He sure die, Wu Tiao Jian I, Rong Hua Zai Nang. Xin Xin Xiaomi He sure die Wu Tiao Jin I Rong Hua Zai Nan Xin Ching Xiaomi Again he sure die. Sing from your heart. Wu Tiao Jian I Rong Hua Zai Nan Xin Ching Shan Ming. One more time. 
一时大爱，无条件爱，荣华在那心情生命。And now the English, the first of the ten da qualities. Give unconditional love. Remove all kinds of disasters and challenges. Heart is clear, transparent. Soul is enlightened. The first of ten da qualities. Give unconditional love. Remove all kinds of disasters and challenges. Heart is clear and transparent. The first of the ten da qualities give unconditional love. Remove all kinds of disasters and challenges. Heart is clear and transparent. So the last line is heart is clear and transparent. The soul is enlightened. Fortunately, I can't sing all of that in that short space. <coughs> Mandarin Chinese. Yi shi da ai. 无条件爱，荣华在那心心生命。I will chant for you if you just wish to listen. You can catch on to the tune. <coughs> Ask the divine with your eyes closed. Ask Jesus. Ask Buddha. Ask whoever you connect to. Please come to me. Bless me to clear my da ai greatest love blockages. Bless me to release these things that keep me from an awakened, enlightened heart. I will continue to chant for you. Yi shi da ai. 无条件爱，荣华在那心心生命。一时大爱，无条件爱，荣。花在那心心生命。The first of the ten da qualities to give unconditional love, remove all kinds of disasters and challenges. Heart is clear and transparent. The first of the ten da qualities to give unconditional love, remove all kinds of disasters and challenges. Heart is clear and transparent. The first of the ten da qualities to give unconditional love, remove all kinds of disasters and challenges. Heart is clear and transparent. Yi shi da ai. 无条件爱，荣华在那
心形生命，一世大爱，无疆界爱，荣华在那心形生命。I will do a flow now to give you some additional guidance and wisdom from heaven. How this is the divine. I gave these words to your spiritual father, Master Shah. They were to open the hearts of humanity. If humanity were to recognize how very simple it is to apply the great wisdom, if humanity simply did the very simple suggestions your entire world and the current predicaments that it finds itself in would reverse itself for love trumps all blockages love conquers all my message is Da I is the greatest love. Give your unconditional love to others. In doing so, yours and others' blockages are being melted in that moment of unconditional love. Your heart and their becomes clearer, more pure, more aligned to my heart. Then my blessings can continue to serve you both. It is a mantra that is destined to change humanity because it carries the simplest and highest wisdom. This is the completion of my statement to you, for there is no need to state more. It is complete. I love you all unconditionally. I am your unconditional universal servant. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you, beloved divine. Ha. So that was a beautiful message also at the end there uh, from our beloved Divine. So comments? And welcome also to Vanessa. Welcome Jessica Gregory. Welcome Larissa Wood. And welcome also to Vagna. So did you enjoy chanting that or trying to learn to chant it? It's something where it takes a little practice. We're going to have uh, 10 sessions. So for me, that's Monday through Thursday. So actually about two and a half weeks, I'll be sitting here with you uh, doing these. And... Um, we're going to go through each day. I'll be adding to it. So you will also have the opportunity to learn the entire 10 flow of the mantra. It starts out with Ishur Da'ai. And then tomorrow I will add the second of the 10 Da's. And I will be adding 
uh, the mantra associated with the greatest forgiveness. And we'll chant Da I and Da Quan Chu mantra together. When you start linking these one by one by one, you will discover a huge purification for your soul, heart, mind, and body. Uh, even just coming will bring you a huge purification. The memorization is a big plus. Certainly, I don't expect it, and I don't know that you would expect it. But if you just try, you will discover that um, the ability to, to chant the entire mantra or be present while the entire mantra is being chanted day by day by day, you will have such aha moments, such uh, uh, organic karma blessings, karma cleansing, if you will. Um, uh, <laughs> thanks, Richie. I like your comment. <laughs> um, but it is, it is key to just be present. I understand this Mandarin Chinese. I understand that, you know, you, you're not looking at what I'm looking at. So I don't expect that you'll be right along with me at the same time. But just being present over these 10 days will assist you so much because the 10 da qualities are the 10 qualities of life. If that's all you focused on the rest of your life was cleaning up these qualities, uh, not doing things that were opposite of these qualities and so forth, your life would change so much towards the better. It's almost an impossibility not to because of the focus is in the right direction. If you just constantly keep your focus in the right direction, you're also manifesting what your focus is on. And so if you simply bring these qualities into your life on a consistent basis, how is it possible that anything other than good could come to you? And even if something does come to you, we might be judging it as bad when in fact it could be something good. You know, it's no different than we get a fender bender, but it turns out to be $4,000 but we just didn't know that two months earlier, so we were complaining about it, right? How many times has something like that happened? It's all perspective shift. So let us uh, maintain positivity and learn to practice these 10 das. So let's see. So Richie shared something about his cat. Wasn't sure when he was singing Chinese, but I get it. <clears throat> I know my cat looks at me quite funny too. Uh, especially when I talk soul language to my cat. It's used to it by now, but... So, let's see. Let me check one thing. Okay. So, um, that's about what I have to offer for today. Tomorrow I will be back and we will uh, chant the greatest forgiveness mantra. I'll chant one round of it for you so you know what it sounds like. <clears throat> and this is for the second of the ten das. It's called Ar Da Quan Chu. <clears throat> a Da Quan Chu means the greatest forgiveness. So here is a, a mantra. Ar Da Quan Chu Wo Yuan Liang Ni Ni Yuan Liang Wo Xiang I ping on her Isn't that beautiful? See? And there's ten lines like that, each revealing the virtuous value of each of these. So I look forward to sharing that with you tomorrow. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I look forward to serving you, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.